Hey, what's good, everybody? Dex. Um, today I just want to have a little discussion about Demon Veil and how it's already looking. Because truly, I believe this is probably the best update since Steel Wave back in 2020. Like, there's a lot of new feet, like not a lot of new features, but we have a zombie who I don't think she'll be as big as you know people claim. But we now have a permanent TDM mode. We're getting new maps again, which is pretty. It's pretty cool. They added the ability to have any one-time scope on any gun, which is probably like my favorite part of this. Is because I can finally play my 417 with a hollow again, like I used to. It's just a good feeling. Not to mention the ban waves have been coming a whole lot more frequently. Apparently, Ubisoft got a better battle eye. At least that's what I read. I don't know if that's true or not. It's just pretty sick. The um patch notes itself haven't really affected anything, is what I'll say. Because I don't think anybody's really noticed the Belushi's opening up faster. And all that crap. The Goyo rework, honestly, I love playing him even more now that I don't have to worry about fucking death shields. Like, it, it's so much more enjoyable knowing that a Gong 6 can't fly up and ruin my day when I'm holding an angle. I enjoy the, the new attacker repick function. That is, it's actually pretty nice. I can go into my loadout and change up how everything's going. So if I forgot to add, like, a breach charge instead of flashbangs. I can put the recharge on it. That thing does not stop shooting at me. And switching off to help the team is so there's no more mistakes. Like, if me and somebody else could thermite at the same time, I don't get randomly picked like fucking Aruni. I mean, Amara. The Valk nerf's a little annoying, but at the same time, I can see why it was added. And it, it's a good change overall. I've been getting ran out a whole lot less, which is pretty good. It's actually really enjoyable. The buff the Thunderbirds making her a whole lot more consistent to use, which is actually really cool. I like that I can sit next to my Thunderbird and not be overstemmed like the 140 the entire time. It's actually pretty nice. I haven't noticed the Kali change that so she doesn't have the movement penalty anymore because I don't play Kali. Like, at all. But I just, the only thing I don't like about Kali is that no matter where she hits you, it's a one shot down unless you're a three armor, and it just, it's just annoying. Nah, but not even speaking of all the changes this season, which are really enjoyable. I really do think Steel Wave is probably the last great Rainbow Six season, because after that was Shadow Legacy, and Shadow Legacy honestly was one of the worst updates I've seen personally. And I still feel the game was truly elite when you had the ACOGs. There's no ACOGs really to be seen anymore, and it's just kind of, I don't know, it's weird. Like, Doc, Rook ACOG was so much fun, Echo had it too. Like, it was just such an enjoyable time to play Siege. Sure, it may have been annoying when Doc and Rook would, like, sit back and smack you with a 2-5. But at the same time, it was what that's what's made Siege Siege. Not having an ACOG on, you know, any on any attacks besides, like, a DMR, it's kind of one of those annoying things. I feel Siege is trying to make too many changes to itself back then. That ended up backfiring a lot because that's when the community started to take notice and was not really appreciative of all the change Ubisoft was giving us, because it really seemed like they were being quite lazy with it. It's like, you know, no point to take off an ACOG off a certain op if they're being picked too much. Nah, let's just take ACOGs away from almost everybody, and then put it on the guns that really don't need it. Now, I don't think there's anything else I can really talk about. Well, we can talk about the ops, too. I don't think a zombie's gonna be that good, but from the span of Ace and Malusi all the way up to a zombie. There hasn't really been that many big time operators. Like, that have really changed how the meta was. Because Ace was better than Thermite at the point. He had still three Selmas. They broke three times. It was bigger than a third wall. It just took longer. And Malusi, her shit was just fucking. It was fantastic. She was dirty. Like, you hear your thing go up. All you do is prep your Nitro, toss it, kaboom, they're gone. It had a bigger range, opened a whole lot slower. I don't even know if you could shoot bullets on it. I, I can't remember, but it was so... It was just really good. I remember using her a lot. But anyways, hopefully they can get back to what made Siege Siege and we get more updates in the future. I think they can stop firing at me. Hopefully they can get back to what made the game truly elite and the number one shooter out. I just want there to be two ops in a map again. Th that'd be the biggest part is that we get more content. But it seems like they've gotten lazy with it. Because they're giving us the exact same amount of patch notes. They're not even changing anything, really. We're honestly probably getting less updates to the game than we used to. 
and I don't know why. You know, like we're gonna fix the game. They haven't really changed anything in that time. Now, hopefully, the only feature I don't want show, I mean, brought is the fucking the drone after death shit, because that's just no. I don't think anybody in the community really wants a drone after death. But yeah, I guess we're done here. There's nothing really more to talk about. I'll see y'all.